so if you're new to 3D printing, let's take a look at some of the options you have for finding 3D printing files online. Um, so Ultimaker's Thingiverse is one of the classics. It has a really awful search feature, um, but it is free and you can find a lot of cool models on here. Then we have Thangs. Thangs searches across a bunch of the different platforms and finds you the most relevant uh, model for you. And you can go in and search through a bunch of different categories. I don't have a ton of experience with Thangs. Don't really have a positive or negative um, opinion of them. Then you have Cults. Uh, Cults has gotten a bit of backlash recently about not paying their creators on the paid for models, but this is where a lot of the flexi factory and flexible files live. Um, and they have some pretty good GIFs and other files available. Um, they have free and paid models. Um, so if you want to post your models for free or if you want to make a bit of cash on the side, uh, cults might be for you. But like I said, they had some issues with not paying their creators. And then you have printables by Prusa. Um, they have a ton of high quality models. Uh, they have these contests that they run, which are kind of fun. And they have some brands on board to provide some official 3D printable parts for brands like Cooler Master and Raspberry Pi Noctua, um, which is pretty neat. But this video is really about McMaster Car. So if you're not familiar, McMaster Car is a vendor of a ton of different parts. You have fasteners, you have welding materials, pipes, tubing, power transmission, sealing, flow and level control, pressure temperature control, filtering, electrical and lighting, like you got all sorts of stuff. If you wanna build something, you can probably find the parts that you need on McMaster Car. But one of the great features about this website is that they also provide 3D models for a ton of their parts. So we'll just look up a hook here and we'll go find something that looks good and we'll, you can download your SOLIDWORKS file, you can download a STEP file, you can open it up in your Fusion 360 or in SOLIDWORKS or any of those uh, platforms that accept a STEP file. And then you can uh, export it as an STL or a STEP can go directly into Bamboo Labs and you can slice it right there. And you can print parts that aren't necessarily meant to be 3D printed but it really opens up the world to a ton of different parts that you probably don't have access to in the traditional 3D printing world. And the only thing to be mindful of is that these aren't optimized for 3D printing. So you have to pick and choose things that will print correctly or that you're able to print at all. Um, but it really is just a resource that I think most 3D printers should know about. They have this feature so that you can put the models into your 3D model and make sure that everything fits together correctly. But it really is super useful to print stuff out and use it in the real world and then buy the product. Um, so for the times where I have done this, I've usually bought the piece afterwards. So McMaster Car, please don't shut this down. Um, but I just think that everyone should know about this. Um, some of the, f the files that I find pretty useful are hooks or handles um, they usually come out pretty good and are some of the the more useful parts to print out but like you can see there's all the detail there just throw it in your slicer put it on your printer and there you go free parts so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one